Hey guys, welcome back to TechRap. So OnePlus released the first Oxygen OS Oreo build for OnePlus 5T on December 30th. Today, I got the second open beta build. The update is of size 435 MB and for now, it is only available via over the air. If you are still on Nougat, then you need to first press the open beta 1 and then install this over the air update. The installation process for Android Oreo Open Beta 1 is pretty much simple. You don't need unlock bootloader, all you need is the ROM file which I have included in the description below. First transfer the downloaded ROM zip file to your phone's internal storage. After completing the transfer, boot into the recovery mode. To do this, hold volume down and power button simultaneously. Select install from internal storage or install from local. Pick the transferred ROM zip file and click install to confirm. It takes a while for installation. Once done, your phone will reboot automatically. Moving on to the beta update. OnePlus added couple of features and system fixes. First one is the new clipboard app. Next is the OnePlus switch app. And the third one is couple of new tweaks and UI changes to the OnePlus launcher. And finally, battery and app management fixes. The upgrade is done and now coming to the new features, we have this new quick search option. You can find it in the right bottom corner of the app drawer. You can either enable it or disable the quick search. If you enable it, then every time you swipe up from home screen, then you will get into the quick search menu. Basically, what quick search does is to organize the apps based on the categories. So when you click shopping section, you can find all shopping apps like eBay, Amazon and so on and you can open apps from there. The application drawer got a new design and the auto naming folder feature is also included. Suppose you try to create a new folder with two apps, let's say Amazon and eBay, the folder name will automatically gets named as shopping. And next let's talk about the new clipboard application. This is a system app and you can enable this clipboard functionality by going to system, advance and enable quick clipboard. Suppose you are trying to copy a text message or a text from a web page, the entire text gets copied to this clipboard and you can search, translate and share the text with the clipboard app. Next is the OnePlus Switch app for backup and restore. You can find this option under the advanced menu. Basically, OnePlus Switch app helps in migrating your data, including messages, contacts, and photos from your previous phone to the new OnePlus phone. All you need to do is install the OnePlus Switch app on your old phone and scan the QR code. Coming to the benchmarks, first let's try Antutu. With Antutu, it got a score of 1,86,818. Next is Geekbench. With Geekbench, it got a single core score of 1,975 and a multi core score of 6,765. And these are the other stats. Finally, it got a score of 60.2 frames per second with Nina Mark 2 benchmark. So that is it 
Thanks for watching guys. I hope this is useful. Hit like and comment below if you have any questions. Bye bye and take care.